gaining popularity around the world. On August 10th and 11th, China is welcoming for the first time the world-famous Drone Champions League, or DCL race. Ten teams are competing at the foot of the Great Wall, a fascinating clash between the ancient and the modern. The Drone Champions League uh, is has a, a format and going to iconic locations. So we've been in Paris on the Champs-Élysées, we've been in Munich in the Olympia Park and so on. And so the, the Great Wall in China um, perfectly fits to us as we think is one of the most beautiful places. The racetrack here in, in uh, China is very three-dimensional. So we make a lot of up and down, uh, which is very interesting for the pilots also and what makes it um, tricky also for them. The cool thing is we can fly up to 20 meters. Though it seems like a game with the fancy goggles and remote control, it is actually a cutthroat sport. Audiences are required to stay under the safety net for protection in case a drone crash happens. With a maximum speed of over 140 kilometers per hour, this happens more often than you'd think, even in the hands, or rather thumbs, of these masters. Still, for the pilots, some as young as 13, Enjoying the games is all that matters. It's for fun for us. Oh, for my team, it's for fun and we really enjoy. Plus, winning it, it it's even better than. China looks awesome. Uh, when you take the Great Wall and this uh, place, uh, it looks awesome. Compared to other types of racing, the entry barrier for drone racing is quite low and the excitement is high. 3D tracks and hologram lenses make every race a new experience for the players and the audience. Developing drones may be a top priority for China, but as the country hosts more and more world-class drone races like the DCL, maybe it's better to simply have fun and enjoy the technology. Christy Skull, CGTN.